welcome to the oneness family for having come all the way to Yekam on this auspicious day of the opening of Yekam. It has taken 28 years since the birth of the phenomenon of the golden orb to arrive at this point. It has taken 28 years and this is a very very auspicious occasion. Yekam was first conceived by Sri Amma and myself years ago with the purpose of bringing about oneness among the peoples of the world and also to connect humanity with the divine. That has been the main purpose of Ekam, though we have other reasons as to why Ekam was built. Now we had this vision, it was Sri Krishnaji and Sri Pritaji who along with like-minded people from India and from the rest of the world made this into a reality. So today we have it there and Ekam will start moving in the direction it is expected to move. Now, <clears throat> what is special about Ekam is, Ekam is the abode of the golden orb. The Dikshas received here would be extremely powerful and should help you receive all that you are seeking for. It would be indeed very, very powerful. That's what is very special about Ekam, it being the abode of the golden orb and the Dikshas being extremely powerful. Now as you meditate at Ekam, in large numbers, you have to come in large numbers and meditate here together. If you could do that, you would achieve tremendous growth in a very, very short time. Not only that, you would be helping humanity also to grow quite fast. Now, as all of you know, humanity is going to face a lot of problems in the coming years. So if A come, could be flooded with people and we could create a total field of oneness across the planet, that would happen through Ekam. If people come and meditate at Ekam, we would be creating a field of oneness across the planet and this oneness could help humanity face the problems confronting it. So that is why it's so important that you come and meditate at Ekam. Now, what happens when you meditate at Ekam? Now, while meditating at Ekam, you would discover your path and you would discover your truth. In the spiritual realm, things are very different. If you go deep into the spiritual realm, you would discover that the universe is actually very different from what you imagine it is or what science tells you what it is. So also, you are very different from what you think you are, what you understand in terms of philosophy and psychology and science, you are not that at all. Deep into the spiritual realm is very, very different. You and the universe are interacting moment to moment. The universe is creating you from moment to moment and you are creating the universe from moment to moment. The universe is no absolute thing out there. It is dying every moment, it is taking birth every moment. You are dying every moment and taking birth every moment. The universe is creating you and you are creating the universe. This becomes your reality. In such a situation, you would be able to clearly see that there are no absolutes in this universe, that there are no absolutes in the spiritual realm. So there's no such thing as the path or the absolute path. 
if there are 7 billion people on this planet, there are 7 billion paths. Each one of us has his or her own path. You would discover your path. Only your path could save you, no other path. However great that could be, that's not going to help you because it's not your truth. It's not your path. Similarly, truth also is not absolute. There's no absolute truth in this universe because the universe is not absolute, you're not absolute. It's living and dying every moment, dying and coming back to life, dying and coming back to life. Nothing is absolute out there. Everything is changing. Therefore, you will discover that this is my path. That is, when you go through the meditation, you would discover, oh my God, this is my path. And you would discover, this is my truth. So, Ekam is there to help you discover your path and your truth. Once that happens, that is the first step and that is the last step. All opposites become one. There's no more the good and the bad, they become one. There's no more the right and the wrong, they become one. There's no more the divine and the profane, they become one. All opposites become one, they're just the one. That becomes a living reality. It's not a concept, it's a living reality. It is then that you discover what freedom is. It is then that you discover what true liberation is. It is then that you discover what the immeasurable is. It is then that you discover what true living is. It is then that you discover that you are all that is. It is then that you discover that you are the one. That you and the divine are one. All things become one. All opposites become one. You discover you are the one. The one. The one that is. You are that. That you will discover as a personal reality. By following your path. And by following your truth. Which you have got to discover. So this is, this is a journey of discovery. Meditating here is a journey of discovery which will take you to that point. So now, it all depends upon how open-minded you are. If you come with a closed mind, then you may not make the progress. Now to discover your path and your truth, all the paths that you have followed all you have known, all the truths that you have known as concepts must drop down like dry leaves. Not that you become free of them. That's not being free at all. But they must drop down automatically like dry leaves. Now as you meditate at Ekam, the abode of the golden orb, that would happen to you. All the concepts, all the views, all the conditioning, which is you. You are nothing but your conditioning. You are nothing but your views, your beliefs, your ideas. No matter how great they are, how wonderful they are, but still it is not true to you. It is not yours. It is only a concept. Now as you begin to see all this, they would drop down of their own accord. At that point, you are left with no path and no truth. That is when you discover what exactly is your path and what is your truth. And once you have gotten there, then everything is only automatic. So now, on this journey, Sri Krishna Ji and Sri Prita Ji would be helping you to move and to make Ekam achieve what it is supposed to achieve. It is meant for transforming the individual and for transforming humanity humanity must take the next leap. If we go on living like this, we would destroy ourselves as well as all living beings on the planet. Unless we become a new generation of human beings, totally different from what we are. Now that is not a very difficult task at all. 
not that the whole of humanity has got to come here. It has been designed to accommodate about 8,000 people. If collectively you would meditate, then you see the miracle taking place, the miracle of transformation of not just the individuals who come here, but of people spread across the planet. There will be a spontaneous awakening. Awakening would take place and people would automatically get connected to their divine. The divine is personal. It is not the divine. It is your divine. Like your path, your truth, your divine. You will get connected to that divine. And once you get connected, there is no stopping you at all. And this would happen automatically to people who may not come here. They could be in the North Pole or the South Pole. Still that could happen to them because you are creating a field. And you would make it possible. So by coming here, you are contributing to the growth of humanity. And for saving all living things on the planet. Because sooner or later, the way we are living, with the self being so very predominant, and we being so very self-centered, we are born to destroy this planet, as probably it has already happened a few times in the distant past, as probably it has already happened in several other planets. So we are heading in that direction. Look at the world and you will see that. There are some good things also happening, but you would see as a whole, we are moving towards disaster. So unless there is a transformation in our consciousness, in the way we perceive things, in the way we experience things, we cannot see how long we would be able to survive. I cannot tell you much more about those things, but then because I am an optimist, I am not a doomsday prophet, but still things are in our hands. We could still bring about a dramatic shift in human consciousness, besides also helping solve people's mundane problems. Both should be handled. We have to handle this world, our worldly problems, as also things concerning the other world. We cannot be fully steeped in this world, well, that's important. We must also concern, be concerned about higher levels of consciousness, but what the human potential really means. So, Ekam would take care of, to use some Indian words, Iham and Param, that is, this world and the other world. By other world, we mean transcendental levels of consciousness. That should be taken care of, as also worldly needs like finances, health, relationships, all these are also a must. Both would be taken care of by meditating at Ekam. So, I think this auspicious day should help you to move along quite fast on this journey. So, love you all. Love you so much. Amma does not have a mic, so I'll translate it for you. So Amma is strongly blessing that all your seeking must be fulfilled. Do whatever you seek for, you must get. Love you all. Love you so much. Love you.